Uh, this is Randall Loves coming to you. And as you can see behind me, everyone is beginning to file out of the conference. We have had a wonderful time. It's about 11 o'clock. And we are just finishing up with the final night. Tomorrow is going to be another uh, remarkable guest speaker, Lynn Twist, come in to speak to us. Um, I really suggest that you look her name up and look up some of some of the things that she's done. She was able to raise $150 million for charity. Um, and she's going to be speaking to us uh, about some, some things about, you know, being a better person and growing ourselves. Uh, you know, and I, and I know that I speak about that a lot in my videos, but that's what it's really all about. It's all about how can you uh, erase some of the pain that that you might be feeling, what what causes you pain? Is it your income, your job, uh, your, I know for me it was my, uh, my worries about how I was gonna be able to provide for my family. I have uh, uh, six kids and, uh, and now we have a new grandson and to take care of them, it takes a lot, it takes an awful lot. And I, I think about it all the time. I think about the economy to a, to a certain degree, but I think more about what kind of successes can I have uh, with what I'm what, I, with what I'm facing. And when I came up with the answer, the answer was I wasn't going to have very much success unless I found a, a good road map, a, uh, a a good a good way to to work at things. And what I found is the first thing I had to work on was myself. I had to work on. Um, you know the the basic the basic things that you have to work on, are like being afraid, um, being afraid of failure, being afraid to uh, go and start something new, something that you haven't explored before. Uh, there's a there's a newness about certain things that you go into this uncharted territory, and you don't know how to exactly approach it with your awe. So you're a little hesitant when you approach it. But what you'll find is once you get into it and once you get to going. You'll be, you'll become more fluent and more, more skilled at what you do and more proficient. And once you get going, all it is is the application to get out there and just get out there and do it and get out there and make it happen. Hurry up and fail your way to the top. You can get rid of all the failures and you'll know that you don't need to try that anymore. But what, what we're learning here is we're learning how to, to bypass that when, when uh, people that Jonathan has brought in and Jonathan himself has has brought us some of his failures and, and he's given us a path to follow that uh, you know they're giving us a path to follow that makes things easier for us so you want to be able to follow a mentor that's going to be able to map things out for you and help you um, get through it he teaches he teaches us how to be able to mentor our own people and I believe that that's going to be one of the greatest skills that anyone can have is be able to immediately reach the people that they're involved with. And uh, that is a skill that I know that on the surface, I know that you have to work on it. But as time goes by, as time goes by, you, you come with more information and more information. And you want to, as a, as a mentor to other people, you want to stay in the place of always learning and giving, and um, being able to provide the best information that you possibly can, because it's all about us all growing together and adapting, and being able to come together and work towards one common goal, and that's for us to succeed at the task at hand. And uh, if we're not doing that, then we're not doing our job. And if I'm not doing that for you, then I'm not doing my job. And uh, you know, the things that, that you encounter, they're all things that can be helped. Your, your, some of your emotional, some of your trials, some of the things that you might get stuck with. Um, there's always a way to figure out where we can get the answer from. If we can't get the answer from uh, one place, we'll go to another. If we can't get the answer from another place, we'll go to another. But there is an answer. Uh, there is nothing new under the sun, and you don't have to recreate the wheel. You just have to find a way to have your goals and and your, uh, your your dreams and aspirations be fulfilled, and not 
not ever have to worry about failing. So with that, I'm going to be going to rest and relax for the next day of powerful information. And what I will try to do as much as possible is be able to share bits and pieces of it with you that uh, will give you some insight to how powerful these events are. How powerful, meaning that um, it's not powerful because it's somebody. It's be powerful because you get here. It's powerful because you participate in it. You are the one that brings the power to the situation. It's your power combined with another one's effort that actually makes it all worthwhile. And uh, this evening, it has come to a, a huge head that you know we we have all experienced and grew as entrepreneurs, as um, as, as 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 teachers, as coaches, as business people. We have all grown as family, um, with our own family, how to deal with our, our own emotions. Uh, we've grown in so many ways that you have to pay attention to. You have to, uh, you have to practice over and over again. It just does, it's not one thing that you just stop. A lot of times when people get into this business or are thinking about getting into this business, the first thing that they'll say was, is um, what company is it? Or how much money have you made? And if that's your focus, then you're going to have the same speed bump that everybody has when they ask that question. The real question is, is how much money can you make? Does it matter what business that you go in? Is there, is there a such thing as a perfect business or product for you to sell that's going to make you rich? And the answer to that is really no. It really depends on your growth and your determination your persistence and your willingness to learn, your willingness to apply what you have learned, and your willingness to adapt to changing times and changing situations. These times are changing so much right now that uh, you know they're changing faster and faster. Not, but what about 40 years ago? Uh, we were still driving, you know, regular cars. Now people are driving sports cars. I believe it was almost a hundred and, uh, on, I'm being driving sports cars on the regular. You wouldn't believe some of the cars that I've seen out here. There's so many people that have advanced themselves uh, to <laughs> such a high level, it's ridiculous. You look at what what the potential is for you to earn and, and what you can get nowadays, and it's just off the hook. But the thing is, is what are you gonna do with it? What are you going to do what's been given to you? What are you going to do with the information? What are you going to do with the effort, the opportunity? Are you going to be able to maximize it and be able to share and give to others? So those are all things that you have to consider when you, before you even get into this. It, it's about you. The business is about you. The business is you. You are the business. It, it, it matters on how much you learn and how much you're going to apply yourself. So that's why you come to events like these. You come to to sharpen your skills, to sharpen your, to, to awaken uh, the dreamer. That's what t tomorrow's lesson is going to be called, awakening the dreamer. And you have to have a dream that sometimes you got to get woke up out of it and stay stay focused on because you get to go to work every day, the same old humdrum, week in and week out, paycheck to paycheck. And you get lulled to sleep. That is a, 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 a tactic that is used by a snake is that a, a, a viper snake is it'll wiggle its tongue to hypnotize or paralyze its its prey until it can pounce on it. And that's what the economy has done to you uh, and to all of us actually. <laughs> it didn't do it to just you, it did it to me too. It did it to all of us. But um, we've got to be able to be go beyond that and be able to see beyond that so that we can be the most effective and not get trapped by something like that. There's no trap that's too great for us. You, you are the greatest cre creation that God has ever made. And, and within you, he put abilities and power that can never be stopped. And that's why he made you. You are an awesome creature. You are an awesome being. And you got to grow in your awesomeness. So with that, I'm going to be signing off here and I'm going to go head up to my room get me a little nice hot bath and uh, get ready for tomorrow's Awaken the Dreamer.
presentation, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.